Hey guys, I'm Hakeem, one of the two developers behind Reveal.io and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the presentation editor. So when you're logged in at Reveal.io, you'll see these new deck buttons pretty much all around the side. Just press that and name your presentation and you'll be presented with the editing interface. The editor is fairly straightforward. It has a text editing toolbar up top, so you can make that bold, you can change font styles, font family, uh, font formats as well, which means headings, bulleted lists, quotes, paragraphs. Um, you can set colors for your text, you can upload images, and you can add links. In the right side over here, there's a plus icon. That's what you use to add new slides. So let's just go ahead and add one more slide right there. There's also a plus button right down in the bottom. That's because you can add slides either horizontally or vertically. So you can add more slides inside of the slide and that lets you group things really logically and nicely. So now I can go from my main slide to my first slide and inside of that have two more slides. I'm using the keyboard arrows to navigate because that's the quickest and easiest way to get around. On the right side you also have a set of options, higher level options for the presentation. One of the more interesting ones is settings. So in the settings interface, you can pick in between different themes and styles to find something that you like. I uh, prefer the blue one myself, so let's just go for that. And you can also set a transition. Transitions are how slides move into each other. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And then you don't have to reload or anything. Everything updates in line. You always see exactly what the presentation will look like. So I can start navigating. You'll see the different style of presentation, uh, different style of transition. And let's just go ahead and save this presentation now. There we go. You can also export your presentation. That means you can take it offline in three easy steps. Just follow this and you'll have your presentation running offline so you don't have to worry about internet connectivity when you're going to present this. Um, you can preview your presentation, which is almost identical to this interface. It's just without all of the editing UI. So you get this. Um, great thing is really that you don't have to go to the preview interface so often because the editing mode has well it has all the right styles applied already so you can see most most of it here I think we're pretty much done with the basics of this so let's just go back by clicking the back arrow up there to my user page now my user page has all of my presentations and bear with me here because they're all tests but this is the one that we just created now you'll see the label that it's private right here. That's because every presentation you create on Reveal.io is private until you decide to publish it. That means you can keep it private and you can present with your logged in account, but nobody else will be able to access it. So let's just make this public so I can share it with my friends. And that was, well, fairly easy. Just hit the publish button and now it's public. And you can make it private again, of course, by pressing the unpublish button. So this is where you manage all of your presentations and where you delete them or go back and edit them again. Um, that's essentially it for the current flow of Reveal.io. We're uh, constantly adding new features, so keep an eye out for that, and I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Thanks.